Hello, friend. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Ginger. I'm a priest with the Celtic Christian Church. Welcome to Coffee Break Prayer. And of course, as Murphy's Law would have it, right as we begin, there's a sound of engines outside. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a headset on, hopefully to make that a little easier to hear me without um, distraction from the noise outside. So... How is that? How is that? I hope it's working. <laughs> so, thank you for joining me today. Um, I was just reading the newspaper and I saw the video of the Shanghai Flower Boy. If you haven't seen that yet, you can Google it. I found it kind of upsetting, so you don't have to. You can just read the newspaper to hear what's going on. Um, people of China are are in a really difficult time and a lot of people are looking for a new path. So it just so happens that here I am sitting someplace new and let me move this up. This is one of my mom's favorite paintings. When I was a little girl, I used to like to imagine what it would be like to walk down that path through these beautiful woods. And now as an adult, oops, I'm fortunate enough to have the picture hanging in my own home. So there you go. I injured my ankle recently and so I'm kind of stuck where I am and here I am in front of this beautiful painting. So could be voice. So let's together take a moment to pray to come back to this present moment and ask God's blessing on his people in China that they would find their path. So let's begin. As always, in the name of God, our loving parent, Jesus, our liberator, and the Holy Spirit, the breath of God, who hovered over the water of chaos, the waters of potential, in Genesis chapter 1. So, friend, I invite you to join me in two deep breaths. I know I need at least one just to remind me that, that we're praying here. And the second one helps me again to come back to now, to the present moment. Nothing magic about breath. It's just one way to help us. It's a very good way to focus on what it is to be here, right here, right now. Because that's where Jesus is, Emmanuel, God with us, right here, right now. So Holy Spirit, breath of God, help us to relax into a couple good deep breaths. <sighs> Holy Spirit, breath of God, we invite you to blow fresh wind over China, to let your breeze of hope and love and wisdom just Bless every breathing person, everyone in China. We especially lift up those who are <clears throat> in tumult, who are struggling right now. And perhaps also those who maybe aren't in struggle, but perhaps should be. Whatever is going on there, Abba, we know that you love your beautiful children. In China, we know that you want to bless them. <clears throat> we know, Abba, that you want each of us and all of us in our communities and nations and language groups to be the best version of us, to be who we truly are. And we ask this blessing on the people of China, that they would find their path through these tumultuous, difficult times. Give them wisdom and courage. Grant them the graces of peace and mutual love. We lift up um, to you, in particular, anyone in a position of authority. And Lord, that's not always obvious, right? Of course, we lift up leaders in politics and business and communications, but also leaders in every friendship group, at every dinner table, and every conversation that all would use their influence 
to advance something good, something good and just to help move the divine human project along toward justice and peace and love. That your will would be accomplished in China, dear God. That your loving hope and and that the that the nation of China would know peace and tranquility and prosperity and all good things as they seek their way together. In a special way we lift up um, I'd like to lift up those in law enforcement who have their own struggles right now. Help them to find the way that they need to go to honor what they need to do while also honoring your image, the, the, the dignity of every human being around them. And for all those who are frightened and worried, we ask your special blessing for those who have died, for those who are missing, for anyone who is in distress around the world. Again, we are yours, Abba, but in a special way that we lift up your children in China, that this moment would be a pivot point in their history, that this moment would be a pivot towards something even more wonderful. The Chinese culture and the Chinese people have blessed all of us in so many ways, and we thank you for that, Abba. We ask you to bless them right now. And include in this blessing, Abba, all of those in the Chinese diaspora around the world, that they too would know your peace, would know your hope, your wisdom, your love, and your courage. Help them and all of us, help all of your human children to value justice, to love mercy, and to walk humbly along the path to which you call us. And this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining me, friend, on this very obviously unscripted prayer. I thank you for your companionship on the way, and um, we'll just keep praying for each other, right? And living in hope. Be blessed, dear one, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in all that you need in this moment and every moment, because you are beloved. Have a beautiful day, friend.